If you've been redeemed, I'll sing the song forever to the Lamb. If you walk in freedom, if you bear his name, I'll sing the song forever to the Lamb. Your name is the highest, your name is the greatest, your name it stands above them all, above all thrones and dominions, all powers and position, your name it stands above them all, and the angels cry, oh, Okay, I'm not sure if you have a brother or a sister or a sibling, but I do. And, you know, there can be some tension sometimes with siblings. And our passage for you today, there's a lot of that between siblings. And the two siblings that we have are Joseph and Judah. And if you know the story, it's out of Genesis. Joseph does pretty much the right thing his whole life. And uh, his father loves him. His whole family is, you know, they're... They're, they're kind of supporting him. He has a coat of many colors. Maybe you're familiar with that. But some of his brothers don't like him. And one in particular, Judah, sets out to go the opposite and actually ends up selling his brother into slavery. Now, I don't know how bad your brother is, your sister is, but I'm pretty sure they've never done that. Okay, that's, that's, that's bad. Fast forward many years later, there's something so interesting that happens where the roles are completely reversed. Joseph is standing in front of them now in complete control. He's second in command only to Pharaoh in the whole land of Egypt. And Joseph is standing there, but his brothers don't recognize that it's him. And Joseph sets a test out in front of them. Joseph is wondering, have they had a change of heart? Are they still the same people that he knew them to be? all those years ago. And I got to believe there's so much welling up inside of Joseph of a lack of forgiveness and maybe some bitterness and just wanting to know where they're at. And what, what happens is you see a transformation. And this is the first time that we've seen it in the, in the Bible up to this point. And this is where it comes in Genesis 44. Judah is saying to Joseph, I can't go back to my father without my little brother. My father's life is wrapped up in my little brother. If he sees me come home without him, my father will surely die. So please, my Lord, let me remain a slave. Take me instead of my brother and let him go home. Joseph realizes in this moment, Judah gets it. Judah realizes it's not about me. Judah's not being selfish anymore. He completely has a change of heart and Joseph can't hold back anymore. This is all Joseph wanted. And so Joseph goes over there, hugs his brothers and tells them who he is and reveals himself to them. And what happens next is reconciliation, forgiveness, joy, and the relationship coming back whole. And you know, that's what God wants for you, and that's what God wants for me. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for this example of forgiveness and grace. And God, I know that that's what you want for us. Help us to be people who forgive.
We love you in your name. Amen.